Oh, hi. I'm Bert Lang, and I want to welcome you to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. This week's guests are motion picture actor Aldo Ray and the co-star of his new film, Terror on Alcatraz, Sandy Brook. Now, here's Skip. Ray, my God, the last time I saw you was with James Bacon. Oh, yes. And yes. Nala Powers. Right. You've been filming now. What have you been filming? You're doing a new movie out. What is yes, it? Yes, it's uh, called Terror on Alcatraz. Uh -huh. <clears throat> we did 13 days of work on Alcatraz itself. Uh-huh. And we actually filmed... You worked actually right on the... On uh, the island. How is that island, first of all? Let's get into it. Well, it's kind of crummy. Everything's, everything's broken down. It's really cruddy, crummy. The Indians took over, didn't they? Didn't they? Oh, yeah, they, they, well, they knocked the heck out of it. Did yeah. they really? Yeah. And then uh, they made it a national park now, uh -huh. so that, and they have tourists going in and out every day, and uh, uh -huh. they took advantage of the tourist situation. I see. And uh, wrote this script of, about, it's, it's kind of a sequel to Escape from Alcatraz, uh -huh. in that I play the same person that uh, Clint Eastwood played, returning to Alcatraz as a tourist. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but I'm going back for the purpose, actually, of finding a diagram that tells me where there's a key, a key to a safety deposit box that's loaded with money and stuff. Uh -huh. One of the tourists that I happen to be on the boat with recognizes me and says, that's Frank Morris. Everybody else says, you're crazy. Uh, what, what's he, what would he be doing here? Uh -huh. Well, they notice that I don't leave the island when everybody else leaves. I see. So in the evening, these young people come back to the island to find out why Frank Morris didn't leave. Uh -huh. Now I know that I am discovered, uh -huh. so I have to kill all of them. You have to kill them all? Kill them all. That's the terror on Alcatraz. Oh, I see. How many do you kill? A lot of them? About six of them and two guards. Oh, God. Yeah. So this is their new movie out right now, Aldo, right? That's going to be coming out in September. Uh -huh. Yeah. Or October. But you've been filming here in L.A.? Yes. Just we did finished? Interiors and exteriors, yes. Just finished. Uh -huh. Tell me something. You've been living up north. Yes. And where? The little town of Crockett. That's where Elder Ray's really from. Absolutely. So tell me about something. Elder Ray, before you got into motion pictures, Cone, who discovered you. Yeah. You were running for politics. Yes. I, tell I, me about that. I actually ran for the office of constable. I was still in college, and I just wanted to test myself, vote, you know, you know my vote-getting power, my so-called charisma with the, with, with the public. and. Uh -huh. the, I ran against an incumbent of 16 years, and everybody said, Aldo, you can't win. He's 60 years old. He's ready for retirement and one more, you know, one more term. And I said, I'm going to destroy this man. I uh -huh. said, he's no good, no good to us anyhow. Right. So I, I got all the young guys to register to vote, uh -huh. guys like my friend Tony Costa that uh, you right. met here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, they went out and passed all the cards around and got all the other guys to register. And I uh -huh. said, you guys, you register and you go vote and we'll kill him. Which they did, and I was elected overwhelmingly in the, uh, you in were the primary election. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So anyhow, between the primary and the general election, they were doing a film called Saturday's Hero, and mm -hmm. Columbia had sent this group of people to San Francisco to find some types, as if they didn't have enough, didn't have enough football players in Southern California. But that's what happens in Southern California. Yeah. The casting directors and talent scouts don't look here. They look in small towns. Uh, that's what they do. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's true. So go ahead. And uh, anyhow, my brother and a couple other people, uh, I was induced to go to San Francisco with them mm -hmm. just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. And they had uh, interviewed about 400 young people, young guys, uh, football players, all day, and they were kind of bored with everything. And then I happened on the scene, uh -huh. and it seemed to brighten things up because I was brash, mm -hmm. you know, and I couldn't care less. And uh, and uh, so well, Saturday Heroes was your first film. Actually, yeah, Saturday Heroes. I thought Marrying Kind was. I don't know well, why. Well, Marrying Kind's the first starring role. See, I went after Saturday's Hero. Yeah. They they picked up one option, uh, one of the uh, one. Con now John Derrick was in Saturday's Hero. Yeah, John, John was Derrick. A star, yes. I see. And who and else? Donna Reed. Donna Reed. And Sydney Blackmer. Remember I Sydney? See. Yes, yeah. I do. Yes. They were the, the three big name people, and uh -huh. uh, they t they took only one option. It was me they chose to stay in Hollywood. I said no, no. I said, uh -huh. I am a big wheel in my little pond, a big fish in my little pond uh -huh. of Crockett, uh -huh. and I'm nothing here. I'm going home. Uh -huh. I said, in the next election, I'm going to be in Congress, Washington D.C. They said, you mean state legislature? I said, no. 
I'll be in Washington, D.C. in 52. Uh -huh. So I stayed home, uh -huh. and I became the constable. So you did? Yeah. And while I was constable, they phoned me in my office one day and said, Aldo, would you come down and make a test for us? I said, sure, I'll take a week. What the heck? Uh -huh. I came down, did a test under the tutelage of Cucor, George Cucor. Uh -huh. And uh, they said, okay, you'll hear from us in a couple of weeks, kid. I went home. They called me the next day and said, resign your job. You can't wear two hats. We're going to make a star of you. You're going to be opposite Julie. Now you're Holiday. talking about G Columbia Pictures. Yes, Harry Cohn. Harry Cohn. Yes. Tell me about Harry Cohn. Tell me a kind of man. Well, really, you know, he's a man's man. I mean, he was really well, yeah. Hollywood's. Oh, yeah, he was a know. dynamo. Yeah, you yeah. know, and then him and Jack Warner and the the the, the, the moguls. You know, right. They, they were tough, tough-minded, tough-fisted, and. Uh, and people, were, uh, they were fearful of him. I couldn't care less. Me were you? Oh, I couldn't. No, no, I couldn't care less. Really? Yeah, I yeah, being from Crockett, I said, I'm, I'm a big wheel wherever I go. Uh -huh. I said, he's not going to make me a little wheel. Yes. You know, I, I, and the only way he could hurt me was by not paying me, uh -huh. you know, and, which he didn't. He never, he never gave me uh, much run for my money, so to speak, run, you know. What do you mean by that, Eldo? Well, I was under when? a seven-year contract, and they, they put the new contract on when I came back from Crockett. Right. So that made it really eight years. See, the first year they never let me go, uh -huh. and so that actually I was under contract for eight years, uh -huh. and my salary never got over seven hundred fifty dollars a week seven. for forty weeks. Never over seven fifty. The first two years was two hundred a week, uh -huh. and I made some big important films. Marrying kind, you got two hundred, two hundred dollars a week. Two hundred a week. Really? The guy ringing the doorbell, he's just sitting on a bench there, ringing the door, bong, bong. Uh -huh. I'm going to do five minute scene. Uh -huh. We had to do it five or six times. He says. He started laughing like hell. He says, you know, Aldo, I make more money than you do, and you're the star of the film. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, I get 240, 240 bucks a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back in 1951, uh -huh. that's pretty good money. You know? Tell me about Cone. Still is. <laughs> Cone, Howard Hughes, yeah. I mean, Warners, those people, yeah. you know, they, they, the Warners didn't pay any money either. No, no, no. You know? Yeah, not until he, you know. They I understand Betty Davis got very little money either yeah. at the Warner Brothers. Under contract. Under oh, yeah. contract. Very little money. All those well, people. Well, the thing is, like Cohn, even though he held me down money wise, he would not allow the B units, the Sam Casmans and the Harry Joe Browns and the, the units, and all the, the B picture units, or, you know. The, right, right. He said, you guys cannot have him. He is a star. And he's going to be nothing but A films. Mm -hmm. So he insisted on. Co-star billing with uh, Tracy and he uh, Hepburn. Hepburn, you did that? Right back to back to the marrying Dude, time. That's right. You did the movie right back. Yeah. Spencer and then the next, one was, the next one was, I starred right the same line, Jane Wyman, Ray Land, Aldo Ray. Mm -hmm. and then Cohn insisted on it. Mm -hmm. And then the next one was Rita Hayworth, Jose Ferrer, Aldo Ray. That was a great movie. You know, right down the line. And he insisted on it. Uh -huh. And for those eight years, Max Arno, who was his casting director. Right didn't like me. He didn't like me because my background was not theater. Mm -hmm. He preferred New York theater people uh -huh. to become movie uh, stars, stars, so to speak. Yeah, and he, uh -huh. he, he just did everything he could to try to, to put me down. But that, that the time, New York theater people did not become movie stars. No, they didn't. No. They didn't. Very few. Very. Am yeah. I correct, Oh, yeah. And well, even your TV stars today, very few make it in movies. Uh -huh. you, they're, you know, very few and far between because I, I I try to tell some producers uh -huh. these things. Uh -huh. They don't want to listen. They say, oh, no, he's, he's got a great series here, and he's, he's uh -huh. watching all over the world. I said, but he will not be any good on a movie marquee. I see. There's a difference. I don't care what anybody says. A motion picture star is a, that is a true star. TV stars are not stars. Right. No. Spencer Tracy. Yeah, great guy. Great guy. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun on Did that. Did you really? Film. Yeah. Catherine Very Hepper quiet guy. Catherine Hepper Katie is, is a lovely woman. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any... Funny stories you could tell us, or anything that stuck back in your mind when you were doing the film with uh, Spencer Tracy? Oh, well, uh, not, you know, one, one day we're walking down the fairway at, uh, at uh, I guess it was a Riviera Country Club. It's not funny. It's just, a, it some, just, it just something that he said, he said, kid, he says, you know, he says, it's only your second film here. But he says, let me tell you something between Cucor and what we've seen and, uh, you know, the other picture you just finished for Columbia, he said, you can be in this business till you die. Is that what he said? Yeah. I said, oh, it gave me a good feeling you know, to, to know that I can make a living in this no matter w how much I goofed. Elder Ray, <laughs> Elder Ray, coming from Cochrane, working with a great dynamic performer like Spencer Tracy, Catherine Hepburn in your second movie. Let's yeah. face it. How did you feel about that? How did you 
you know. Well, I just, well, I, I, I was... I mean, how I did was, you handle that? I didn't worry about it, but I made sure, and this is what they taught, discipline, self-discipline, so that you know your lines and you know what you're... Doing. What you're doing, yeah. Uh -huh. And you don't falter, you know. Uh -huh. And that, that was the key thing, and... Uh, and you never studied acting, Aldo, did you? Oh, no, Harry Cohen ordered me never to take an acting lesson. He ordered you? He gave me this. He, says, I, he called me in one day and he said, I got one standing order for you, kid. You are never to take an acting lesson. I said, good. And they used me to test all the people from the acting schools, the New York people. I was their tester. I see. Yeah. John Wayne never studied either, I don't think, did he? I don't really know. So? I don't but he never learned to act either. He never did. Well, he was John Wayne, though, Eldo, wasn't he? <laughs> I understand you brought your leading lady in this new film oh, right yes, now. Oh, yes, lovely lady. I, she's a lovely, lovely girl. I'm looking at her here. And her name is Sandy Brooke. How are you, Sandy? Very good. I'm fascinating listening to that. Isn't it wonderful? wonderful? Oh, stories. stories. What do you think of working with Eldo it. Ray? Oh, it's and a pleasure. In your kidding? It's wonderful. It's just story. a pleasure working mm -hmm. with him. Really? Yes. But I understand that you grew up in the business. Sandy Brook. Uh, well, my mother, mother was a Neural Carroll girl. It's uh -huh. true. I modeled ever since I was this high, but I uh -huh. uh, didn't really pursue my acting until later. But Your mother was a Neural Carroll girl. Yes. Tell me, Aldo, did you know her mother? I, mean, I you used to go there. I'm sure you used to. <laughs> but no, but you I, I, I only met her on the set when she could visit at our set. And I said, lovely lady. And I saw her, this lady on there. I said, you've got to be Sandy's <laughs> mother. Uh-huh. There's a there's a, fami a fam you know family yeah, right, resemblance right, there. Right, right. Very lovely mom. What, what's what's your character in the film? She's called Mona. It's his girlfriend of ten years, and you never really know whether she's sticking around for the money at the end or whether she really loves him. But uh -huh. we'll leave that for you to decide. Me, you grew up here in Hollywood, huh? Mostly, I'm a California girl. Uh -huh. I lived in Hawaii, in Washington, New uh -huh. York, Denver. Uh -huh. But, but uh, you studied acting. Years, but you studied yeah. acting. Oh yes, New yeah. York and here for. Uh -huh. Well, many years now. <laughs> so what do you advise the young people out there uh, to study acting today? What, what, is, is it different today? It's, well, tell me, Aldo. Well, you know, Hollywood's I, changed a lot. We know that. Know, well, I've been asked to lecture at various drama schools or colleges or whatnot, and I tell them that the key to me is knowing as many people, uh, human beings as possible, watch life and really observe it and absorb it. Observe uh -huh. and absorb uh -huh. life itself. I tell a lot of uh, a lot of them. I tell them, you know, I'm from a small town. I said, but uh -huh. we had a unified school district, and I got to know 10,000 people, uh -huh. all to, you know, the mothers and fathers and all the kids I went to school with yes. over the years. I got to know them fairly intimately. Uh -huh. And in the cities, the big cities, what do you know? Maybe three apartment uh, apartment dwellers. You might know three, four families. That's all uh -huh. you get to know. Uh -huh. You don't even know your next door neighbor. In no. Your, right. Yeah. You see, right. and True. and I got to know ten thousand people. I knew the, the little dame that would you uh -huh. know put put out for everybody, and uh -huh. uh, you knew who the drunks <laughs> were, and <laughs> right, right, you knew right. who this was and who that was. You know, the, uh -huh. you know all those things, and you observe <laughs> them and you absorb them. Uh -huh. And this is the I think the only reason I've been around for thirty five years. Uh -huh. You've been around thirty five. Thirty. This is my thirty sixth year. Yeah. Sandy, tell yeah. me something. You're not going to ask me how long I've been uh, around. No, right? I'm not going <laughs> to around, but tell me. Dear. Thank you. But tell me, you, you've done a lot of television, I understand. You've been More features than television. More feature? Actually. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What other films have you done, Sandy? Well, uh, I did a film about a year and a half ago that hasn't been released yet called uh -huh. My Brother's Keeper. Uh -huh. Who's uh, in that? Lou Valdino is the director, uh -huh. and no quote-unquote names. I see. Uh -huh. But uh, it should be a very good film. It should be very funny. Of course, I'm upstage by a bird and a dog, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sing, Sandy. You're very pretty. You're very, very oh, pretty well, girl. Do you, you sing you and dance? Much. Your mother dances, right? Not that you'd want to listen to. No, <laughs> I don't sing. But you dance. <laughs> I've done some dancing, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is your mother still in the business? I understand she's very beautiful. She still models, yes. She still models, yes, really? Yes, And they and threw her in our uh, movie the other And what night. is her name, your mother's mm -hmm. name? Beverly Brooke. Beverly Brooke. Mm -hmm. But her other name was... I, oh, I, Bunny Rush when she was an Earl Carroll girl. That is a name I like. Bunny Rush. Yes, pretty name, isn't it? That is a great name. Yes. She's an Earl Carroll girl. Yes. Um, did you know any Earl Carroll girls at the time? Did you ever no, met her? You no, never met her? No, I met several when no, I was see, out here. You know I yeah, I worked the Black Owls, Ken Murray's Black Owls oh, yeah, when I was a yeah. kid. <laughs> and uh, with Marie Wilson and Ken Murray. And mm -hmm. I remember I used to meet a lot of Earl Carroll's girls huh. at that uh, lovely cafeteria where uh, the palace used to be. Right oh, yes. Door, remember? The story she used to tell me always about so the cafeteria. Lovely. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And going on the road and from, you know, train stop to train stop. Oh, my goodness. I don't know where I'd begin. I don't know if I can <laughs> tell them on this show, <laughs> anyhow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Eldoray, they're honoring you at the St. Mary's College. 
Yes. August the 24th. And this, A Day with El Ray. Now tell yeah. me about this. What is this all about? Well, this, this group of people up there that said, we got to honor Aldo Ray. We're going to do something for, to try to enhance their program there at the school, their uh -huh. dramas and, and whatever. And uh, they, they said they just happened to know me, get to know me. And they said, can we do your film, a fest film festival with you? I said, I'd love it. It'd be fun. Uh -huh. So they chose this day, August 24th. Mm -hmm. To have a day with Aldo Ray, and I will talk between films. To They're going to show your them. films, I oh, see. Yes. Oh, uh, oh, yes, all of them. How About wonderful. 12, not all of them, about a dozen of them. But five will be on the main screen in the main hall. Those, God's I, the, Little Acre, one of yeah, my favorites. That's one of my very favorites. Is, it, is that your favorite? Yeah, one of my very mm -hmm. favorites. Why is it your favorite, Tony? Well, I guess it's because I felt that Bob Ryan did a fantastic job in it, and he right. should have gotten an Academy Award for that. Robert Ryan I really should feel have. that. He Robert really Ryan, should have. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Buddy Hackett was in it. It was very funny. Michael Landon was in it. Michael Landon was in it? Yeah, he played the albino uh -huh. in it. Uh-huh. Uh, Jack Lord was in it. Mm -hmm. Tina Louise was in it. Mm -hmm. And all those people that were in that film went on to become... Big stars. Big stars, yeah. yeah. Stars of their own, right? The, on, their own, on, on their own, yeah. Tell me about Sadie Thompson. I got to know about Rita Hayworth. She's a beautiful person. She so is. lovely. Yeah, you know, you know, I always found through the years that the... The more important the personage to you know to the public, yes. the nicer they've always been. Uh -huh. Really, really, it's that's a, true. It's I only found, these, found. these, yeah, you, you find okay. these so-called starlets and these young guys that think they're stars. Uh -huh. They're the ones that are get away from me. Uh -huh. you know, they, they uh -huh. have that stupid attitude. Uh -huh. You know, I don't, I don't sign autographs. Get away. You know, that, that, the bigger the people, I, I, the nicer they've always been. I see. Yeah. Do you still keep in contact with these people? Like, no. You don't. No. But if I happen to run into them socially, though, it's a big hug and a, mm -hmm. you know. Where do you live now, Aldo? The little town of Crockett. You yeah. still, your mother? Oh, yeah, I moved home, yeah. I understand your mother just had a birthday. Yeah. Tell me about that. She is what? <clears throat> 80, 80 years old. 80 years old. Yeah. How lovely. And she's a bingo addict. Talk about addiction. I am too. <laughs> <laughs> Love bingo. Every night of the week. Yeah, and every so night, they, no. they had Go a surprise ahead. party for her at the bingo parlor. Uh -huh. And we, the, all the sons and, and, and my sister, the, the daughter and the in-laws, as many as, as we could gather, gathered uh -huh. outside the hall. Uh -huh. And at 8.30, they called like a, a recess. Uh -huh. And they all sang happy birthday to her. And we walked in. How oh, nice. And they had this huge cake. I'm uh -huh. told it cost $300. Uh -huh. And they fed, everybody got a good sized piece of cake. All 500 people there. That's right. It was enormous. <laughs> yeah. So all her sons were there. Not all of them. No, nope. no, no. Just the, the ones that live in the area in and the whoever area. happened to be home oh, at the I time. See. Yeah. Elder Ray, the film, and Sandy tell me that just got through. The director of the film is Philip Marcus. Yes. I understand where he's in here, and I like to uh, bring him on right now. And he can tell. This. So. Where is Philip? Philip. 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 Hi. Why don't you come up, Philip? How are you? <laughs> How you doing, Philip? Nice. Skippy Low. Philip, that Philip, is that a uh, French name? Are you French? Uh, or? Well, my mother is French, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, from Paris, and my dad, American, from uh, Philadelphia. I see. And I was born in Philadelphia, li lived there till I was five, and then moved to Paris w with my parents. I see, but you've been living in, in France for how many years? Long? Uh, well, I got, I you grew came up there. back. I grew up there and came back uh -huh. uh, to California about eight years ago. Good. Tell me about the film of uh, this wonderful movie you mm -hmm. just directed. Tell me about that. It is called Terror on Alcatraz. Terror on Alcatraz. And uh, now, who well, wrote the who wrote the film? Uh, the film was uh, written by uh, some person. I don't even remember who the writer is. Uh -huh. Actually, I think uh, it's somebody from San Francisco. I see. And uh, first of all, I have to say it was really an honor for me to uh, direct a film with Aldo in it. That is it? And, it's uh, wonderful to be oh, yeah. right. You learned a lot, right? It, I sure did. It made me look good. I saw. I saw. I saw one scene. I came in one mm -hmm. scene the last week, and I, and it, one take. I understand you did it one take. Mm -hmm. Well, a yeah. lot of uh, the uh, scenes uh, that were done with Aldo were one or two takes, uh -huh. and it, it made life really easy on the set. It, it was just a pleasure to work with him and Sandy as well. Uh -huh. And uh, we did a lot of special effects primarily. I see. And uh, they were really nice, nice to work so, on. So actually, this is your first fe feature film? or is No, this, your, this is my third one. Third? Mm -hmm. What was the others? Uh, the other one is coming out in August. 
uh, here in uh, Hollywood, and it's called uh, Serpent Warriors, uh -huh. uh, with uh, starring Clint Walker. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Aldo knows him. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Clint too. Eartha Kitt. I just interviewed uh, her. Uh, Chris Mitchum mm -hmm. and uh, Anne Lockhart. I think Lockhart. she said something about that sh yeah. that movie on our uh -huh. show. Yeah, she did. So that's coming out in August. Mm -hmm. And uh, one I did uh, about three years ago uh, is called uh, Squeeze Play. Tell me, Eartha Kitt, let's get back with Eartha Kitt. Mm -hmm. uh, did she make you wait on the set a lot? I just want to know. Mm -hmm. Did she have, uh, you know, she... I, w I waited for her for an hour and a half yeah, before she, she showed was, up here. She was not a very easy person to uh, work with, uh, really. Mm -hmm. I had a lot more fun with Aldo. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but she wasn't easy. She, she, was she is very good. She's a very good performer, but uh, she has her habits and her ways of doing things. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this movie will be coming... When is this movie coming out? This movie is coming out, uh, I think, in September or October. Uh -huh. yeah. That's soon. Yeah, very soon. We're currently working in uh, post-production right now. I see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Well, I, I want to tell you something. I'm uh, very, very happy to have you all here. Well, really, thank you very much. Really, very, very nice. Because mm -hmm. Aldo Ray is an old friend of mine, and I just mm -hmm. love Aldo. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's happening with your yeah, life, you Aldo? Know, you know, Philip really, his, him and his crew and his gang, they really saved our picture. What do you mean by saved? When we came, when we, what we did in San Francisco was supposedly over 100 minutes of film. Uh -huh. When they edited it, they had 70 minutes of film, 70 uh -huh. minutes and 12 seconds. Uh -huh. And some of it not good, so him and his gang, Philip and his his group, right, wrote in and filled in everything, mm -hmm. and now we're going to have a 95-minute super film. 95. Of, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. Yeah. I see. Well, most of what was missing in the film uh, was special effects, and being a terror film where, where people go and are accustomed now, especially with television, to see a lot of uh, blood and guts, actually. They you know? really like that, don't they? Yeah, they people do, today yeah. like blood and guts well, and violence. Well, if you advertise a film in that manner, you might as well put it in. Uh -huh. So <laughs> the, uh, we, we did those segments, and I have to say also that I worked with Todd Masters. Uh -huh. uh, and he just uh, he did all our special effects, and yes, he just yes. finished doing uh, uh, Ghostbusters and uh -huh. uh, Poltergeist 2. Oh, and it was see. a pleasure working with him also. Mm -hmm. Eldo, tell me, marrying kind, when are those pictures coming back? I mean, blood and guts, violence, I cannot bear it. I really don't. I don't go to Stallone's movies or any of that. Yeah. I don't like violence. I don't want to see it. I, yeah. I don't even see the, I don't want to listen to the news. Yeah. What is happening to our world today? What is happening? Well, it, it just, uh, it, it might be a thing, you know, one of these uh, phases of the moon kind of things. <laughs> that just I happens. mean, are we going to, well. I think we'll come out of it. I'm, what are the stories? For instance, the good stories. For instance, I'll be doing one called Blood Red. The There's main, another one, uh, Blood yeah, Red. Yeah, Blood Red here. Yeah, what is uh, that? It's a story of the vineyards versus the railroads in the Napa Valley and Sonoma Valley right. up in Northern California. Right. And the, the railroads are trying to take over the vineyards and just do away with them. Fine. To, you know, put the railroads As through. a story. It, it's a good story, yeah. Right, right. And then the vintage is a, a great old story about the rivalry between vintners up there. Uh-huh. The vintage, that's, that'll be made next year, probably. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to be doing the Sicilians, I'm fairly sure, in Sicily in another this, month or is so. Is this new for us? I yes. Mean, we can uh, use it? I'm pretty nobody sure. Nobody knows it about it? No, nobody knows about the it. The Sicilians? The Sicilians, yeah. Mm -hmm. They called Monday. What's happened the third with Brando? I understand called, so. Brando, they offered Brando a lot of money. He turned it down. Really? Yeah. Well, Brando doesn't want to do it. He's yeah. up in his Mulholland house. In a way, he doesn't want to do anything. I'll be done. Why is he turning things down? Do you know I anything really about that? I really have no idea. No, I have no idea. There's a lot of great roles when in this are you film. The uh, Sicilian? Yeah. What, what oh, yeah. role are you doing? Elton? I don't know. You don't? No, they, no the, I heard a rumor that I was going to be Don Croce, the, oh. the, 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 the big cheese, but uh, I, I you know, didn't feel myself uh -huh. in, that, in that vein when I read the book. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I felt a couple of other roles. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I think, See, I, I'll do anything. Yeah. You know, I, I think I'm, I'm craft-wise enough that I can do anything. Uh -huh. But I, I told him a couple of roles that I said, I, I really, if, if you're going to cast according to the book, uh -huh. this is what, these are the I two see. roles that I see myself I see. as being perfectly cast in. Yes. Sandy, how about women roles? What do you see out there for yourself? Are, uh, are you satisfied with a lot of women roles today? 
Well, let's face it, the man is always the star of the picture. No, I mean, rarely. Not great. Well, not yes, really. it has been coming as of late that Go women ahead. are starring in mm -hmm. films, but uh, oh, I'm very versatile. I can see myself doing a lot of things. I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Philip, I want to uh, violence, love stories. Do you, what's happening with the young directors and uh, writers well, today and producers? Why? Uh, uh, we, I think. What uh, do you think? Uh, when you're new in the business, of course, you're uh, asked to do more commercial things, you know, and it seems like violence and sex in films uh, has a good uh, market value, and that's why I think us young directors are doing these kind of films. As far as I'm concerned, I would like very much to get into comedy, mm -hmm. and I think, in fact, that Aldo has a uh, pretty good script, mm -hmm. and uh, which uh, I'm very interested in as well. And I think, my, for myself, I'm interested in comedy, and I think if I had to choose uh, doing anything, I would do comedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, about family, uh, mm -hmm. family pictures. I mean, mm -hmm. there's some lovely, lovely stories out there about family mm -hmm. people. You know, why can't we, what's happening with that? Uh, yeah, like as the well. Like kind. I'm really, I'm mm. very, I like to get as back well. to that. I think, I think. You know, there uh, have a lot of audiences out there, Orange County audiences, you know. I think uh, there again, you <laughs> fall into the uh, distributors and producers' hands, and I think what they look at primarily is making money. That's uh, it. And uh, that's so it. if you have a good picture and, and uh, you don't have the audience or, or a wide audience or mass appeal, then it becomes a difficult picture to produce. I see. So the whole thing is money. Mm -hmm. Like Orson Welles, uh, someone asked Orson Welles, why does he do commercials? He answered, money. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. it. I Definitely. mean, that's the whole thing. I just don't understand. Well, especially don't people Hollywood, do anything yeah. for art? We don't have Kim Stanley's around uh -huh. or, or good actresses and good actors around doing things for art. Uh -huh. What's happening with it? But even, even Ethel Barrymore was asked one time, why did you do that role? Some particular role. I don't remember exactly which role. Right. Why did you do that role? For money, my dear. So they really do. Everyone <laughs> that does really it. Really, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. oh, but most people in the business do work for their money, so we put in very long hours. I see. And it's oh. a difficult business to be in, and uh, I think uh, that even if there is money, the people that are in the business earn it. I see. Well, yeah, At least the ones that are working. This, this uh, crew that uh, <laughs> Philip had with him, mm -hmm. they put in, in, five, in six days, mm -hmm. they put in 12 days of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 12 full days of work. And your day, and when, and your era at Columbia on Columbia lot, how many? You, you I mean, had your ten hour days. Ten days, ten and hour, that's it. Ten hour day at the most. That, it was, that was it. That's it. And you yeah. shut up and go. Yeah. And you got a twelve hour turnaround call, uh, uh -huh. and uh, that was it. it was, but even though when I did start, we still had a six day uh -huh. week uh -huh. when I first got to Columbia. Six day week. I never forget one time. The sixth day was a Saturday that SC was playing UCLA, uh -huh. and I had a brother at SC, uh -huh. and he was. The headline on the sports page was. Unknown sophomore replaces Van Dorn, <laughs> the kid that, the one that uh -huh. got hurt. Uh -huh. The unknown sophomore was my kid brother. Ah, what's his so name? I, what was his name? Uh, Mario. Mario. Mario Dare. Yeah, my real That's name. That's right. Dare is your yeah, real name. Yeah. That's right. And uh, I said to Milan, I said Ray. He he loves football. You know, he loves everything American. And Ray did. Uh huh. Yeah. He passed away recently. I see. Uh, uh, Milan. I said Ray. I said, geez, I'm on call tomorrow. I want to go to the game. I got tickets. And I, I, he says. You go," he says. "Don't worry about it. If they ask for that, they ask for you. They send, they call, they, they phone you at home or something, and they uh -huh. come and tell me that. I'll, I'll, I'll tell them that. Well, yeah, page the Coliseum. You might get them. <laughs> <laughs> there were 105,000 people they there, right? <laughs> if they could page me for a week, they'd never get me. <laughs> so you're actually a talent, Damiano. Yeah. See? see, see, yeah, that's, very, that's nice. What's new and exciting in El Dorado?